My video from March the 1st, 2019 is video number 3011, and the title is Entangled in a Maze of Contradictions. Today, February 28th, has not been a good day for me. Yes, I am still challenged by unresolved computer issues. Of course, I do have another computer that seems to work well, albeit slower. I also took my car into the shop to get the AC working again. This is the third time in a year on that issue alone. I posted this on the previous video. Quote, I took my car in for repairs that were supposed to cost a little over $100. They found something else wrong, and the price jumped up over $300 more. Then they called me again at another $300. The cost of repairs rose to about three quarters of my monthly income. Ah, the money trap. Are we slaves of an insecure, jealous, pretend God? It would seem so, end quote. This was also shared on my YouTube, or on YouTube, it doesn't say my, quote, there are many organizations that have been used for evil purposes. Fingers have been pointed in many directions, but only one direction has any meaning to me at this point. Either there is a loving creator or not. What has transpired in human history is a travesty of lies and injustice. No religion tells the whole truth and nothing but the truth. All have been compromised. Will truth and justice ever prevail? Only if and when God, if such an entity actually exists, takes responsibility for the mess, will there ever be peace on earth? Humanity waits. <sighs> Let me clarify something that may not be obvious uh, from that blurb. The second $300 was to replace the drum and a whole total brake job of everything. I had my son look at the brakes yesterday because I was hearing sound on the... Uh, on the rear, right rear uh, wheel, and he did t show there, it did show that there were scratches there. Anyway, I had them look at it too and tell me what it would cost, and that was the second three hundred dollars to replace the, the drums needed to be replaced because the thickness that it, it you know the thickness can only be so much, and they've already taken enough off so they have to put brand new brake drums and brake shoes on both wheels of course uh, and that was the second three hundred dollars the, the other one was the, the lines the air conditioning lines they had replaced the condenser earlier a year or so ago approximately and uh, that was still under warranty uh, and some of the other stuff was still under warranty but there were so many leaks when they recharged the freon they said leaks were everywhere the hose the hose had ruptured in many places and it had ruined the compressor so that the compressor had to be replaced again and the hoses had to be replaced the whole the addition of replacing the hoses was the other three hundred dollars so thankfully i mean initially it had cost i don't remember twelve thirteen hundred dollars to get it fixed. I don't remember the exact amount. Uh, so thankfully, some of it was covered by the warranty. But this is just part of the issues that we have to face as humans. It's again, the money trap. We need money to get all these things accomplished. And I'm grateful that the mechanics are, are honest and willing to work with me and they actually reduced some of the costs uh, of their labor and other things 
to bring the price down as much as as much as they possibly could. Uh, they charged me as if I was one of their prime customers, which I guess in a way I am, but the prime customers actually pay an annual fee to receive discounts. I don't pay that fee, <laughs> so I'm not necessarily entitled to the discounts. And uh, the other thing that uh, I just now thought of again is I ordered some vitamins through Amazon and Amazon now no longer has uh, UPS or postal service deliveries. Now they have their own Amazon delivery people and the person who makes the deliveries in this area apparently works second shift. Well, my post office, which is not a U.S. post office, closes at, at, uh, at 530. So when you try to make a delivery after 530, you can't make the delivery. Uh, it's not a private residence, and that's on purpose. Anyway, folks, uh, there are so many contradictions in this world, but none are more contradictory than the fact that God is a jealous God. Why would God be jealous? Why would God be insecure? Unless God is a fraud. Unless God is lying to us. Well, there is one that pretends to be God that has been lying to us and has infiltrated all of the religions of the world so that none of them are pure. None of the holy scriptures are holy, un un holy inspired, that is. Uh, all of them are compromised, and everything in humanity's history has been compromised. It's his story, but it's the story of a demon masquerading as God, or a fallen angel, whatever you want to call it. And I keep coming back to this issue because it is the primary issue humanity faces. And people say, but we create our own reality. If we were fully informed, yes, we would create our own reality. If we had a complete capability of all of our God-given rights and our God-given talents, gifts, and abilities, if we were if those, all of those could be exercised like Anastasia exercises them, if we all could do that, we would not be in the predicament that we're in. We would not be subservient to a lying demon pretending to be God. We would not, it would not happen. We would not have fallen angels dictating to us what we can and can't do. And presenting a story that contains enough truth to entrap us, but not enough truth to set us free. And I want to be free from the bondage of lies. I want to be free from the tyranny of, of evil masquerading as good. And it's a tyranny. This has to change. And I hope there really is an awakening happening. I hope with all my heart that some of the things that have plagued mankind for eons are finally at long last going to be dealt with in this supposed age of Aquarius that we're entering into. I'd like to see Donald Trump drain the swamp. Uh, I'd like to see, I would have liked to have seen uh, Obama bring change we can believe in. But these things don't happen in a system where people who have a vested interest in keeping the old system going are allowed to continue to march to the beat of a very different drummer than those of us that want good and righteousness to prevail. Very different drummer. Will God ever bring the positive changes that are needed? I certainly hope so, because I don't want to be entangled anymore in this maze of contradictions. Thank you for listening and namaste.